So Feb March 21, question one. This is an estimation question. Paper one, two, question one. This is, this is an estimation question. And you're asked to estimate the density of sand. So this one is a bit new because normally when they ask you to estimate stuff, uh, they will may ask you to estimate something like the kinetic energy of an athlete. That one was strangely popular for a bit. And also the general things like the weight of an apple. But when it comes to density of sand, or any kind of things that is out of this world, you have to try to relate it to something that you already know. So the thing that I hope most people or most scientists, science students, future scientists know around density is we know the density of water, right? I hope you do. So the density of water, and then I, I look at all this, okay, I probably need to have it in gram per cm cube and kg per meter cube, is one gram per cm cube, which is also equivalent to 1,000 kg per meter cube. Okay, hopefully you have done enough questions uh, regarding buoyancy and uh, uptrust force to know this basic idea. Just like density of oil is around 800 kg meter cube. Okay, so let's think a bit. If you notice, sand tend to sink, right? So sand is denser than water. Then you look at all these numbers. Law. This is denser, but it's not that dense. And this one is just too big. Can it be 200 times denser than water? Cannot lah. Can it be 2,000 times? Cannot la. The most densest uh, element that we have, one of the most densest element that we have is mercury. And density of mercury is 13. 13.6, I believe. So 200 and 2,000 is two out of this world already, okay? And then if you look at these two, this one will be 2,000, 2 times 10 to the power of 3, and this is 20. So 20 is too small, and your answer will be D. Okay? So that would be question one. So relate to something that you already know and compare. Think about the fact that sand will sink, but sand is not so heavy. A and B is out. C is less dense, so it's definitely out. All right, so that's it for question one.